FXB. Right, I'm going to make a third node. I still recommend that you get the a pre-made node by G7RPG. The uh, control panel on it is excellent and it's very good value for money and that's the one I recommend. But after that, you might think, well, I do fancy making one myself. Um, I'm not great at soldering, but I fancy making one because I'm very interested in, in all-star nodes, so, which is what I did. So what you're going to need is I recommend you buy a pre-modified CM108 sound card. Now, uh, Ben makes these, but I'm sure other people do as well. But Ben, you'll find him on, on YouTube, 2E0BMT or G5REV. He makes these. This is one that he made, yeah? And so, so it saves a lot of soldering because there's quite some quite small soldering to do on here. You know, you've got a couple of resistors to solder in. You've got a, in there, there's a transistor in there, which connects to three connectors. You've got some fine connections here for the, one is for the LED. Like these two wires coming downwards are for the LED. These four are the ones that connect to the radio and the white one is an, well, they're all important anyway. So they're the ones you'll see me soldering to my radio. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna just take the radio apart. We do need to remove a couple of uh, um, a heat coil and a transistor, or was it on there? Now you're gonna, you do need, a Raspberry Pi, a 3B. You need an SD card. Now you're gonna, on a separate video that I've done, it shows you how to put the image of All Star from Ham VoIP uh, onto this card, and then to configure it. First of all, using your um, LAN connector is easier, and then you can add your Wi-Fi details after. So you need, uh, this is gonna, what's gonna be power everything. This is called a buck converter. I think it's L259, so basically 12 volts in, and then you can adjust this little gold screw to change the voltage coming out. And what you could do is you could add some diodes because you need to supply one with four volts and then the Raspberry Pi with five. So you could add some diodes to, to sort of lower one, you know, one of the, you have two live outputs and then you could lower one to the four volts for the radio. I um, mean, you've got other options. You could power the Raspberry Pi using a normal USB. I mean, you could even probably power the radio, uh, I haven't tried it yet, using the, um, the charger that comes with the radio. I haven't even tried that, it's just thinking out loud. So you definitely need 10K resistors. Now you buy these in packs of 10 for about two pound or less. Um, so two of them get soldered onto the back of the radio. So what we're gonna do now, we're just going to take the radio apart. It's a couple of screws here, a uh, couple of uh, these spe specialist type screws here, but I'm sure you've got a, a tool that will fit them. Pull, pull the knob off. Now you have to pull them all off, but what it makes sense to actually push back on the, the volume control, because one day you might want to change it and it's just easier. But to get the thing apart, and then when we do take it apart, we're just going to have to remove the LED, which you can, you can just twist off. Um, but um, and then there's a little microphone in there. So this isn't um, assembled and constructed the same as the G7 RPG node. It's slightly different, but this is how I'm going to do it because it's the way I know how. So let's keep watching. So took the battery off. Now let's just you know just by pushing that clip there. Then you've got these to take off. We're taking them off now. These type sort of screws, torque screws. Then we'll take off the these two screws here. Like so. These these Bofung Triple Eight S's, you can buy them for a tenner. So they don't cost much. You can buy two. If you buy them in pairs, they're, they're cheaper. So take that off and then uh, the next thing is to uh, get the the two knobs off. Actually, they, sometimes they come off easy, sometimes they're quite stiff. So what I do is just wedge them up with a flat screwdriver, but carefully. So if you look, I'm just being careful. Look, it's just gradually easing that one off. Keep the knobs, they come in handy, don't they? So, and then just same again here, just sort of, see it just start to go. 
there you go. You got them off, like so. Now, let's see. I'm not sure if, I, if I've missed anything. Let's just. Now the speaker will still be connected. Now have I forgotten anything? Um, right. Well, I'll uh, I'll just make sure they haven't forgotten anything. Yeah, I just remembered. See the chrome rings. You've got two, one here and one here. You've got to remove them. So you can normally get a flat screwdriver in in the gap and just sort of turn them. Yeah, so got one off and then what I'll do is just put in the screwdriver in the little gap and just turning it really. Bitfully, don't stab yourself. Uh, but it does, they do go. You put them in the gap. And they just go. See, that one went. So you get the idea. It's a bit fully. Don't stab yourself. That's the main thing. It is going. Bit by bit, it's turning. Okay, well, it's off. The three things. So with a bit of luck, we can um, just lever that up. I have made a video of doing the last one, but and then it just pull out like so, and then you end up you have to snip those cables where the, you can see the speaker goes. It's quite a handy speaker. It's very loud that speaker. So I got some snips here. I'll just snip them. So that comes off like so. I keep all this sort of stuff, typical ham. So there's the the radio. Not sure what all these marks are on it, but uh, I'll give that a clean up because I've never used this radio. It's a brand new radio. A bit worrying. Anyway, so the LED I've watched. You can just sort of keep twisting it like so. I might end up using it. Um, and it comes off. There you go. And even this microphone. Now if you look at the G7 RPG node, he actually uses the microphone connector as a way of of connecting the, the white, I think it's CMOS connector. But I'm not going to do that on this one because I'm just copying Ben's design here. So for now we're just going to twist this off. When you twist it off, don't damage this chip so I'm just gonna twist it without damaging that chip so I'll just give it a bit of that look it comes off quite easy that's the microphone off so there you go little microphone and then you know we need to make sure that those those microphone connectors aren't touching we'll need to remove the these two wires now there's a connector here that we use so i'll show you that close up when we're doing it so this is the board we're interested in interested in so we've got a few screws here to remove we've got a bit of solder we need to remove this solder to make the board lift off this plastic thing just comes off the antenna and what g7 rpg does he solders an antenna here but we're, this is a, we're, just, we're not going to do that in this case. So, uh, okay, let's get the soldering iron out. I think we've got to take these screws out first. So, well, we can do that while the video is running. So, so, I think we need to put we need them back these screws because we're going to refix the board back onto the radio um, afterwards because the, the, the we still need the back of the radio to act as a sort of like a heat sink although the power's reduced a lot we're still going to do that so uh, yeah okay so let's uh, also take the screw out right here in the middle like so Whip that one out, not going to lose that either. 
so lastly we're going to do that bit of solder and then see if we can lift it off right so there's no point moaning about my soldering i am rubbish at soldering so let's just get these off let's get the whole board off first which is this one Sometimes it's easier to add a bit of solder first. Let's clean it and then we'll tin it. Third 
So we're still trying. We'll get this heat sink off. And that came, or one side came. Don't mind if we damage it because I'm not using it. We, d we have to add a wire to this. It's going to come off. There you go, that's off. The wire, if I remember right, goes from here to here. But we still haven't got this off. I think the wire effectively is bypassing this chip. And I think this chip. Um, is a increases the power of the radio. So we've got the 10K resistor here, and we've got another one here. And on the other side, it, I found it really difficult removing that transistor there. I don't even know if it's properly removed, but I, I have managed to get the wire from these two capacitors. You remove the capacitor here, which is immediately to the left of the transistor. So these two res resistors here, there's a wire that goes from there to, you know where there, there was that coil? There was a coil um, here, heat coil. So to the left one, you know, if you've got the blue thing here. So wire goes from the third one, the resistor that was removed or capacitor, wherever it was. Um, so to the left of that, you've got these two here, you know, or here and here. And then there's a wire that goes across, a very thin wire, 30 gauge to here. So that's, uh, so, the next thing is to um, now think about connecting the the uh, sound card, the Raspberry Pi, and uh, all the wires together. We need to get a wire connected here, just a thin wire here on this little corner one here, and then leave that just tailing off because we need to connect to that when we've put it put the radio back together. So we just uh, tack this little yellow wire here on the corner one, like so. Need to get a bit more solder on there. So just here. Okay. That's on there. So we're just going to push this back on. It's a bit of soldered bit. That's gone back in there like so. Yeah, let's push back in. And then we're going to put the screws back in. So get the screws back in, holding the board on. Got that bit of gap where the wire pokes through. The wire I use a bit fat, but I think it'll work. Another screw here. Screw here right in the middle. Like so. And then one ear on the far left. Okay. 
so now we're going to get our Raspberry Pi. We have, what I'll probably do to test this, see if it even works, I'll probably just get the SD card from the Raspberry Pi that I've already made. Now, the, there, I've got a separate video to show you how to make and set up the SD card ready for the uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, but you can actually set that up without even doing the radio. You can literally just get the SD card, load the all-star image on, and you can do everything, even to the point of all of Supermon, um, um, without even having a radio. So, but anyway, so right now we'll get the radio like so. We'll get the sound card like so. So the sound card's in, and then we'll just start connecting some wires up. Now, what if I? I'm going to have to solder a couple to these ones here. There's an earth one here that goes on the edge. So we'll just do one at a time. I know that the white one goes here. So I can just twist that one on for now. Yeah, we can shorten all these afterwards. I just want to see if the thing even works. So and let's just start going one at a time and working out where each, each color wire goes. What I'm going to do, I'm going to tin each wire that needs it. I might get some flux on there. Okay, I think they're all tinned. So I know we need to get a bit of an earth on the top of this USB here, so I'm giving it a bit of a scratch. And then we'll probably do another one here for the LED lights. They need an earth as well. So we'll get some solder on here. Um, and that'll be where we connect our earth later. So let's see how it takes. It takes quite a lot of heat on these. Yes, my soldering is rubbish. I know. Why is that not going on the end? Okay. Try again. Okay. There's a bit there, seems all right.
Right, got a bit of solder on the USB connectors. Probably would have made sense to take that out first, but oh well, they're on there. I've put, we're going to put a bit of black wire on one of them. The lesson I learned was put two wires going from the radio to the uh, Raspberry Pi, otherwise you get feedback. So the earth, these two here, we've got these two wires from the uh, Pi. Yeah, these two. Those two black wires are gonna go here. You've got the screw there, little empty one there, then here, that's your earth. So we're gonna add some solder there and then we're gonna connect it on. Okay, so the black wires are on. Right, next the yellow wire is gonna go here onto this resistor. That's the next. Hopefully we'll get it to reach. Like so. I have sort of tin these, but you know, could always be better. And then we'll obviously insulate it or so it can't touch anything later. The red wire. No, the. Uh, I know what I've done wrong. I put one of the, I put one of the wrong black wires in the wrong pla place. So, oh no, yeah, the black wire needs. Both the black wires need to come from the Raspberry Pi, and then the black wire from the sound card goes here. So we can swap that over now. So you can see you've got black wire going to that 10k resistor from the sound card. Uh, you've got the CMOS wire going inside the radio that's connecting to the chip. Uh, then you've got the red wire now is going to go here somewhere. I'm just going to double check exactly where it goes. I've got a feeling it goes here. Yeah, so the red wire goes, if you can see, there's a lot of stuff here, here. Right here. So right next to the sort of ear plug. That's our next solder. Okay, so we've now got the uh, the red wire here. Okay, so you need to make sure none of these wires are touching any earth. Obviously that one is an earth. So black sound card one there yellow wire there um, these two here I'm pretty sure they're LED they're for LED so I can test it without connecting the LED wires if I'm right I will double check I've got a I've got a um, SD card in there that's pre-programmed all I've got to do now really is power the radio I know I can power the Raspberry Pi with a USB I've got a I'll probably just put the battery back in the radio, power it, and just see if it works. Um, so, yeah, let's, uh, might give it a test in a minute. Just remembering that I have pre-programmed the radio with the frequencies and got it on the correct channel that's going to, you know, going to work with, the, uh, with everything that's set up. Okay, so we're still getting there. What we're going to have to do is we need to add a live here. Pretty sure it's here. That's your plus from the buck converter. Right, got my buck converter. We're gonna have to get some power to this radio. So you've got the I've solder wires going in from a 12 volt supply. Then we've got the, the voltage coming out, which we're gonna test in a minute to make sure it's four volts. And I just soldered a couple of wires. And then the live wire that I've soldered on the radio goes here. And I'm going to connect in using this connector here. So, uh, yeah, give it a go. Okay, so we have some success. We're connected to uh, M0HOY. Um, have a good look at the wires here, the configuration and the, the buck converter. Um, so we've got, we're on a 12 volt battery. There's our buck converter. 
someone's got a permanent key. So you can see the wire configuration. So we've got the pre-made sound card. Just turn that down a bit. Pre-made sound card, I'll put you a link where you can get that from. There's all the wires connected. Earthwise, look, we've got the earth on the Raspberry Pi, the live power from the butt converter reduced to four watts coming here. And the Raspberry Pi for now is just on a USB because I, I haven't got rounds to fit in a, a butt converter for that. Uh, it's definitely working. Now, I'm trying to work out um, why it's in permanent transmit. So I'm going to disconnect and just reboot it. Right, so we're disconnected. Got a lot, of, some, a lot of builders going on here today. Right, so in theory, I can um, connect to the 40894 sound test and um, just test it. So let's try that. Right. You'll hear it connect. Code four zero eight nine four connected to node five three nine zero one zero. Okay, so that's the Hubnet sound test. Now I haven't even tested the audio on this, so it's possible that the audio needs adjusting. So here goes. Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo test. Mike Zero Fox X-Ray Bravo test. There you go. I'll try again. M0 FXB test. Um, All-star node number three. Playback. M0 FXB test. Um, All-star node number three. Right. So hopefully uh, that will help. Uh, that, remember, that was a quick one because the, the CM108 sound card was made by someone else. Uh, so it saved a lot of soldering. So. so catch you later. Please subscribe. 73. I want to take, have a quick look inside your G7RPG node. Uh, there it is there. Just turn it upside down. <coughs> it's just four screws here just zip them off one at a time turn it back over and then lift the lid off